and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Hunting here on Player One Start. In this video, I am actually revisiting some of the video rental stores that I visited in some of my previous trips on these videos. I'm doing this in the hopes that I will be able to buy some of the games that were not for sale the last time I came through last year. The games I am hoping to grab are PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, and of course, the Wii U. Most of my Wii U collection has been supplied by these stores, as they are being clearanced out to make room for the next generation of video games. This has allowed me to collect most of the titles for the Wii U at a significant discount, as these stores make most of their money renting the game out rather than selling them at the end. At this point, I am most likely saving a lot of these games from heading towards the dumpster. And yes, I am continuing my journey towards getting a complete Wii U collection. But anyway, looking past the dozens of Wii games you see on the wall here, I've actually already selected a few of the Wii U titles that I'm going to get from this store. Next to their selection of Wii games, you can see the Wii U titles that I actually passed on. And that's mostly because they were not for sale, but Animal Crossing and Star Fox Guard over here wouldn't even be worth investing into to begin with. So far I found Yoshi's Woolly World, Minecraft, Splatoon, and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. It does seem now that the value of Wii U games is going on the downward trend, and that is to be expected as people are moving on from this system, and it's not backwards compatible with the current gen. Looking back at their Wii selection, I can tell how many junk titles came out for this system. Well, not necessarily junk titles, but there were a ton of games released for the Wii. And unfortunately, after the last five years of them clearancing these games out, it's been pretty picked over. And due to the fact that I visited so many of these stores that were clearancing them out at a lower price, I'm not really wanting to spend that much on these titles as they are charging about $5 a game here. Again, it amazes me how many Wii games they still have here, as that game system has been out for quite a long time. Next to their Wii U selection, they do have their 3DS games. And again, this is just kind of novel to me that they decided to rent games for a mobile system. Back in the day, I was not able to rent games for the Game Boy, and I didn't even consider that being a possibility. But I guess it makes sense, a game is a game. Unfortunately, none of them here were for sale, so I had to move past those. Next to those, they have their Xbox 360 selection. I think the backwards compatibility of the Xbox One helped keep this system a bit more relevant, and that's why they have some of these titles that are backwards compatible still here to rent, as they are playable on a current gen system. And here's their lone Nintendo DS title, which I find strange is the only one next to this some games may require a refundable $20 deposit, as I don't think this game would require that. And speaking of systems that may become collectible in the future, I think the Xbox One is going to be overlooked as it is this generation's least popular selling console. Then again, as of the filming of this video, it has sold around 48 million units worldwide. Thanks to backwards compatibility though with the next generation, I feel like the relevance of these titles will be around for a few more years at least, so that's why I don't think any of these titles will be leaving this store anytime soon, as they can still be rented out and played on current hardware. However, in contrast, the PlayStation 3, not being compatible with either the PS4 or the upcoming PS5, will probably make these titles a bit more irrelevant, and could be a reason why people start overlooking this console. Which I feel would be a mistake, because there were some great games released for this system, especially in the second half of its life. Although yeah, some of the online-only titles here being listed at $5 is really not worth it, especially when the servers shut down, don't think this game is going to be able to work very well. I'm not quite sure if we have any Kung Fu Rider fans out there, but if you haven't, this game actually isn't too bad for the PlayStation Move, but I wouldn't pay either $7.99 or $4.99 for this game. Behind the glare, shining off of these cases, are the Metal Gear Solid games. Again, that's not really a franchise I got into as a kid, and around this time frame, I wasn't really into it as much either. Sega Superstars Tennis also caught my eye, as I don't think I have that one yet. With this selection of baseball games, you can almost see exactly the lifespan of the PlayStation Move, as well as gaming in 3D, which I think a lot of people forget that the PlayStation 3 was capable of. And here's the Wii Sports of the PlayStation 3. Again, if you have the PlayStation Move accessory, this is a must-have. And it does seem a bit strange to have the PlayStation 3 selection right next to the Nintendo Switch. That is definitely something I'm not used to seeing in retail stores. Well, then. 
Are there two greater words you can find on a gaming hunt? I submit that there is not. And while the front two titles don't leave me with much encouragement, I decided to go ahead and leaf through these to see if there was anything worth collecting. Sadly, they didn't show me anything I wanted, but maybe you found something in there that looked interesting. This is strange, because this suggests that they had two copies of his Hannah Montana game back in the day. Well, so that actually wraps it up for this store, let's go ahead and move on to another one. Right after I check out the candy sale, and stand behind this line. So in this store, I ended up finding a few more Wii U titles. But I also ended up finding Resident Evil 7 for 10 bucks on the Xbox One, as well as WarioWare Smooth Moves for the Wii. Overall, not a bad haul for this store, but it was in the next store where I made a killing. In the final store of this trip, I actually encountered a store that was closing down, and I was able to find a ton of games that were being discounted to about 99 cents each. The store was also getting rid of some digital copy movies, so I picked up a few of those as well. But here's just a sample of everything I walked up to the counter with. It took about a good hour to get checked out from this store. I got games ranging from the PS4 and Xbox One to the Xbox 360, Wii, and PlayStation 3. And that led to me getting this giant box of games. And yeah, that was definitely not expected for me to get out of this trip. This is actually my combined haul, showing my Wii U and my Wii titles that I have here, with a couple of PS3 titles thrown on top, and maybe an Xbox 360 title or two. But you may notice there are some games missing. That's because there's a whole nother layer of games to the bottom of this box. This shows all of my Xbox 360 finds, PS3, the few PS4 games that I found, as well as Xbox One and a couple of 3DS titles. Again, this overall is a fantastic find considering that most of these games were 99 cents. Again, some of these games will end up as trades, others may end up on sale, but whatever is left over from the slot will be donated to my local high school's gaming club. But for the rest that I don't already have, I will be putting that in my private collection which now seems to be bursting at the seams. It looks like I'm going to have to create a new solution for storing these games. But that's going to have to be a topic for another video, as that about wraps it up for this trip. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned because I have more content coming, and I will see you all in the next video. If you like this video and you'd like to help out with future projects on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, if you enjoy the content of this channel, please remember to click on this subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.